All right, boy. Should we wait for homeboy to pass by? If he ever does. That guy, dog. Damn. Cheers. So no, to episode three. I told you. Oh, my God. Hey, bro. This fool was supposed to get the bottle of damn near 30 minutes ago. <sighs> but Bro. he's still here. You still got the, uh, the salsa thing. Then you do that too. Yeah. yeah. Can, you, can you do this a favor, please? Can you go? No. Please? I know you are, bro. Jason, said they never could go. I'll hug you when you come back. No, you want the bottle? Tell me. Yeah, yeah, we really want the bottle, please. All right, Tito's and a... And a Gatorade. Yeah, the big bottle of Tito's and a Gatorade. I don't come back, bro. Bro, we got your back. Hey, if you don't come back, I'm going out there with a nine, and I'm going to find you, boy. Yeah, don't trip. Uh, we will find you. All right, so that, that's the... Close that door. Yeah. Turn off the music. We're going to get... Yeah. Yeah. See, this guy, Jason, just messed everything up. He messed up the whole flow. Fucked up the whole rotation right now, bro. All right, I gotta get back into my mode, bro. Not just like <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's good? This episode two point five. Yeah. And in episode three, because episode three we had something planned, something special, something happened. But uh, I'm gonna it's talk to that. I'm gonna talk to the to, to the whole thing that's going on. Um, to so still know it's gonna be something special. You know, something we talked about in the beginning. Something that uh, we're gonna hope to keep doing with the podcast as we keep continue to to um to continue. Yep. On this journey, yeah. So episode two point five. On this episode, we got something special for you guys too. Something that I really, really have had. Well, me, I mean, anybody from the HA that sees this and they and they know they're gonna know what I'm talking about. It's called. Uh, we're gonna do a food review for you guys today. Today, I know we did it right on the first one. It wasn't that good because fucking dumbass over yeah. there forgot how to get home. That kid, I swear to God, if he, if we were back in the, in the, back in the days when you know fools had to like find their way home to their village and shit, that man would be fucking gone forever. He would be lost. <laughs> he would got eaten. That man, dinosaur. he doesn't know his left from right. Man. I swear, and he drives like a idiot. This man, DMV, <laughs> take that motherfucker <laughs> shit, the fuck you shit away. What? He's a danger to society. And fire the man that gave him the ID. Yeah, it's like, bro. I said it's like me. Um, but yeah, we have a food review for you guys today. So the reason I keep saying that is something that's been on my mind because on TikTok is a, call, a spot called Tamale Man. A lot of people may have heard of it. I have no, I have no bias to it. I have uh, towards it because I haven't in, in tried it myself. But that place was never hyped up. It was never no line, never, never. no line, ever, ever, never no line there. And now you see the line going all the way back. And okay, so I have a theory. So we try to we try to get these shits ordered before we left on this little fucking field trip that we had to take. Uh, the homie Kimon, he tried to order them on, on off the phone. But he said that they don't do over the phone orders. And the reason I feel like they don't do it is so they can create a long line outside of people waiting. Make it look like they got that hype. Exactly. And not only that, bro, their fucking shit is fucking, like, they, they rob you, basically. Like, you can't get one single tamal. Because we are trying you to get, like, to get a, plate. a whole plate because of rice and beans. And, like, it, so that's, that's why they charge you extra. Yeah. And not only that, the avocado, they do put a lot of avocado on it. So that's what the charge rate is. I mean, they charge you for it at the end of the day. They, you know, it all adds up to that price. Yeah. But I mean, we're in this. I'm, I'm going in on like a non-biased field. My boy said he's tried it already. And so, he, I, I've tried it. You know, Tamale Man, you know, I always said it has this big hype. I've tried it before the hype. And when I tried it, I was like, it's all right. It's <sighs> decent. Maybe it's gotten better. Maybe that's why they got the hype. I don't know. I'm not going to go in straight hating on it. But the time I did have it before the hype, no one was there. You see, no one was there, and like it's been there forever. But and I think that the hype kind of died down because when we went there, no one was there. Yeah, no one was, bro. Because we were like, "Fuck, we gotta start the podcast." We're supposed to start at six. It's fucking currently seven twenty. We're supposed to start at six. Yeah. But so shit happened. A bunch of bullshit. Yeah, and then uh, we're like, "Fuck it, let's go wait." around the like, food. We still gotta wait for the tamales. I know we're probably gonna have to wait in line because it's TikTok shit. Hell no, so there's just one guy, one man with one tamale eating there. I was about to sit with that fool because I felt bad for my boy. But he was enjoying his shit. That was fucking it up and shit. Yeah. That's what it's like you when you eat. Well, <laughs> hey, let's try it. So we got a uh, lengua tamale. We also got 
the jalapeno the raka the raka and the pastor uh -huh. Pastor, and then the other one was the super. This is the super. This is the is it, no, no, that's jalapeno. This is the, the yeah, this is the the, the raka one. So they all so come like one. So they all so come, they like come with the they come with the, the beans and the rice. Which I pointed at the be at the rice it's called in the beans. Yeah. Rice and beans. The rice ain't no cap. Rice was good. I'm smelling it right now. This is my favorite. So Kimo, take a seat here. You go be yeah, yeah my brother. Yeah, right so now. my brother's fucking hungry over here. This nigga hurry up and start this shit. So I'm gonna try the lengua because lengua is my favorite. I favorite too. So let me tell you, we'll both. Well, everyone's gonna try a little bit. Of yeah. So we're gonna swap them around and shit. You know how we swap bitches? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nah. Bring them on up here. Bring them yeah, on yeah, up here. We get this salsa out here too. Yeah. We gonna see. So this is the pastor pour. They got two salsas. They all kind of look the same, so it's kind of bullshit. But uh, I mean, I guess. No, no, and then I'm guessing this is the big ass one. Yeah. So this is the one. This is the famous fucking TikTok goddamn tamale. I they cut that one is bigger. Yeah. They cut it up and they put like three different meats in there. But we gonna see. Yeah. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna tell you the truth. And to tell you if these fucking uh, TikTok motherfuckers is lying. Yeah, because I don't lie. I can I don't tell lie. the truth. Yeah. Because like I said, the other day, I, I, I like that spot we went to. It was Sinaloa. I like Sinaloa. But where you guys seen, I couldn't even grab the fucking tortilla. That shit evaporated in the goddamn foil. Where's uh, the force that? Oh. Nina. A knife. The red salsa is fire. Yeah, oh yeah, I got the shits and the salsa. Those ones were just staring at me. I'm like, bro, you just got a big ass order. You better let me grab my salsa. Ooh, hey, okay, this is good. Okay, okay. The green one for sure got Serrano. Oh, then we got this salsa from a cool, cool little meat spot out here in Carson. Yeah, I've been, yeah. I went there my whole life growing up as a kid. Me too. We fucking always went there. I remember one time, actually, I think it was, uh, well, I think it was Memorial Day. Uh, you know how that usually lands like on Sunday and shit? Yeah. Fucking, we went there. My dad knew there was gonna be a long line, so we went at like eight or nine in the morning. The line was already around the fucking block, all the way down the right side by where, uh, that burger spot there. Ted, Ted's all the way down by that spot. That shit went all the way down around the corner, and we waited in line. And I was like, "Fuck, bro, that shit did not stop." I felt bad for the workers, but I mean, you know, they know they know what they're getting into. And I'm sure they get paid for it. But yeah, this is the salsa from Benadita right here. I'm gonna just use this one. This one's good. Can we uh, control these with us? My brother can come here and try it. I'm about to try the lengua. My favorite. You shouldn't have parted it on top so you can try it without the salsa and then without with the salsa. But yeah, I got that side. I got that side. Okay. All right. But we on this side. We on this side. <laughs> but I'm going to go over to the other side. What you grabbing over there? You got that story. Bring me a chair, bro. This is the. How, you want this one? I want to try all right. So I want to try all of them. Well, we're going to try all of them, but we're all going to have our, our little, you know, not personal, but. Our first ones mm. that we're gonna try. Okay, the side with no salsa. So I'm gonna give my brother Kimo the jalapeno and, and fucking quesal. And I got the pastor. I got the lengua. So I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. And his avocado look older than my granny. I love, I love avocado. I'm from Michoacan, guys. If you guys didn't know, now you know. And half Guerrero from Guerrero. Can't forget the other side. All right, so. He says, oh, my side, my boy. For real. I'm hungry as shit. Okay. Mm. Masa's pretty good, solid. Yeah, the masa's good. It's very, like, it, it's very, like, well, it has, like, good salt. But if the pastor, the pastor is kind of, like, not doing it for me. But, I don't know. All right, the, the masa is fire. But they've got a lot of cheese. You saw that cheese pool. Yeah, you see it? So, cheese pool is good. Cheese pool is good. Masa is good. This one on the lengua, I'm not going to lie. Not the best lengua I've had. It's still <clears> fire, though. You know? So if I break it down <clears> on the uh, masa, I give it I give a it solid a, eight. I give it a six. Masa you give it a six? six? Okay. All, right, all right, you know, though. I like, I like, I like that, like, regular talk to Mali. So he give it a six. <laughs> I give the rice a cool seven, bro. Not that bad. Uh, I haven't tried the beans yet. Let me try the beans right here. I like it with the cheese in it. Thank yeah, you. so Thank for you. me, I give the matcha a, I give the lingua a six. Beans is gas. I give them a nine. Rice, rice, eight. 
The rice is cool. I don't know why I said it first. You thought it was good, man. I did, right? What the fuck is that sound? Y'all give me 42, I'll give you like, um, come on. Yeah. Mm. Hey, hey, move that shit. A paraphernalia off the. This is the guy. <laughs> that guy that made a. Alright, I like it. Alright, so overall score, I get to Molly Man. I'll give it a good eight. Alright, so that's invalid. Not literally, but like. It's just because he's hungry. Yeah, he's starving. Like, you know what? He's hungry. I done seen this man eat two, uh, five, uh, two foot long sandwiches. Every single time. Every single time. He just comes home from working out and going to work, going to school. Comes home, he orders fucking sandwiches. If I, like he, he's he's cool. He'll he'll he share with me. Zinzel? He'll share with me. Have it, but if I'm not hungry, that is like sometimes I say no because I'm like, damn, Blissful used to eating two sandwiches. He gives me one half. He's probably still fucking hungry as fuck. <laughs> like, there's a lot of shit that I know. Like there's a lot of challenges I want Kimo to do because I know he could do it. Like easy as fuck. This will still sit there and eat some some fucking um. Oh, I actually want to do a food challenge. You should, and we're going to record it. We are. You got to give me some time to just... It can't be during season, because if, if you guys don't know, my boy's the best wrestler out here. Thank you, thank you. Man. Yep. True. He will drop you and your daddy. Hey, and hey, then I'll go bone up your, your granny. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's get the review, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kimo said eight. What do you say? Mm. Overall. Hey, Overall. Six and a half. I give it a seven. I give it a six and a half. I give it a seven, bro. I'm really fucking with the beans, though. Beans and rice, like my... Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Because I know there's a lot of controversy out there. Say beans and rice, like my nigga SVN said. Uh, hey, we remember that last time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Like, so it's decent. It gets a passing grade. It's not the best. I wouldn't give it... I wouldn't wait in a lot. If I... If I all right. And these would have been like, hey... Let's go to Tamale Man. And we go on this full, we would have not done the review today. I would have been like, let's go somewhere. Let's go check some other spot. Let's just go fucking drive down Western a little bit farther. Let's just go to Dodie. Yeah, and then I'll wait in that line. We would have, we're going to try to wait for that one to be the last one because that is all of our favorite fucking taco spots. It, it's just consensus HA best tacos. And if you disagree, put it in the comments. Let us know. No, yeah. Well, hey, yeah, I want to know where I want, I want like to go spots where you guys like, you know, like. I'm always down to try new things because you know, like I I never liked sushi until uh my baby mama told me she was like, let's go eat sushi. I'm like, man, I don't want that shit. Fucking raw, uh, raw fucking fish and this and that. And then she took me and I had at first she had me try like the the ones you fry. I'm like, All right, it's good. And then after that, I started trying. The only sh uh, sushi I don't like is sashimi. See, that's the difference. I, I fucking love sashimi. I don't like sashimi. I love sashimi. No, like, that, that motherfucker is going to have a nerve and it's going to flip off the right. <laughs> bro, it's, bro it, it's fire. If you guys never try sashimi, you got to try it. But you got to put some soy sauce, wasabi. I like wasabi and my soy sauce. I do too. But did you know, like, with Japanese people, they say, like, you're not supposed to do that. We give a fuck. I'm doing what I want. Like, have you guys seen that video? Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. I feel you. I feel you. But you know how you said, like, hey, why is there ketchup at tamale, man? Who the fuck put ketchup? On their fucking well, tamale. They have fries. No, nigga, they have no fries. They have burgers, yo. Okay, hey. I was reading their menu, they have burgers. If they have burgers, bro, that's red flag. That's, in, no, that's red flag. Yeah, like, you should know, like, if there's a Mexican spot. That's red flag. That has burgers and shit. Don't, don't. That's that's red red flag. Flag. Hey, for me, I have a rule. I'm not going to get, um, I'm not going to get fucking, what's it called? I'm not going to get a menudo or any type of, like, hot soup from any, like, burger spot. Like, say... Fucking like Tams or whatever. Like I know me no disrespect, you know. We like it, so it doesn't. But I'm saying like you know, mm. like a regular yeah, yeah, burger I'm spot. Sure and they're like, oh, come on, on Domingo for the menudo. Well, now I'm cooling, bro. I gotta go to Guanajuato out here in uh, in Harbor City. Hey, that's why I'm not gonna lie. That that's the best menudo. Best menudo. We went to we went to Menudo Man. Hey, Menudo Man. But I'd rather have Harbor City. Yeah, yeah. Over Menudo Man. Yeah, because Menudo Man was it's not hype. that bomb. It was not. It was like this. It's like this. It's like hype, this. Hype, all hype. But like, you feel me? We went to uh, what's it called in Harbor City? Uh, uh Guanajuato. 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 Guana. 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 Cuato. Cuato. Yeah. Guanajuato. There you go. Guanajuato. I'll say Guanajuato or Guanajuato with a J, not with a Q. 
Hey, hey, whatever he said, <laughs> I'll take that over Menudo Man. Because we went to Menudo Man, we were waiting there for 30 minutes. And I think we were hung over. Hung over like a motherfucker. <laughs> hung over like a motherfucker. We seen all the Ultima drivers pull up, get their Menudo. I'm like, Ooh, we see two beautiful ass fucking Trans Ams right there, bro. The, the car, the, 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 that one Asian guy. That one, oh, hey, wow. So we pulled up, bro. There's this one, uh, you know, my type of people, the Asian fool. He's out there washing his fucking Trans Ams. I'm like, he's just flexing on everybody. That's bro. like the only thing that made it work the way it was better than the menudo. <laughs> it was, but the Harbor City spot, way better, bro. Yeah, yeah. You guys should totally check it out. The, the owner has been working there ever since I was a little ass kid. Like this small. Like, they see me grow up. My mama, I used to live down the street from there. And my mama used to be like, oh, go get me some cebolla. Go to Guanajuato. Go get me some, like, she'd be cooking. Oh, go get me a fucking queso. All right, mom, I guess. And since I, she didn't care how, like, I don't know. Mexicans don't give a fuck how small you are. Oh, yeah, go up to the store. Go get me some shit. Check but back then, shit wasn't that bad. You get the uh, Gatorade? <laughs> I got a free from <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, so... Yeah, my we, we already ate. We gave our review to Molly Man. Wasn't that great? Consensus, if we tally up all our scores, it would be a 7.5. And we, here we go. We got the boy fucking Jay. Jay, man. You know, he, he's, uh, he's, just, he's, just, he's just in his own world doing his own thing all the time. Yeah. Sometimes, like, sometimes I wish I was like a brain surgeon. It's like a city. This was a brain. Like, yeah. what, what goes on in your head? <laughs> hey, but, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, first topic I want to bring up, dog, is so you know how back in the day when we were kids, middle school, high school, we were all about the 90s and the 80s, right? Yeah. You know, like that was the shit that was coming back. For those of you that don't know, I work with fucking kids. Like, that's my nine to five. I work with children. Not like that. I, I'm a just. I'm a coach. I'm a counselor. Yeah. All right, you weird ass thinking ass food. Yeah, I'm not no SPM, bro. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is wild. These kids, right? They're all about the early 2000s. You feel me? The baggy clothes, right? The dunks. Because remember, us growing up, high school, middle school, dunks weren't popular like that no more. That was like when we were kids. The dunks were popular yeah. when we were elementary. Kids. Now they're back. They're back. Now they're back, and they're worth way more. For real. Way more. Bro, I remember when, when I was young, shoes were way cheaper. Well, I mean, we were young. We were the older time. Shit was way cheaper back then. I remember when the McChicken was 96 cents. I think I said this shit on the last one. Yeah. So that's, just, that's just my shit. Like, bro, like, I always compare shit to that. I know because I'm fat. I mean, but you know, like, bro, that shit is crazy to me how shit went up that high. Like, I mean, besides everybody's going to be like, gas, gas. Well, obviously, gas is going high, but I mean. Nah, because, like, with the kids with the dunks, <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. But uh, with the kids with these dunks out there, it's like, I'm like, damn, like, you know, before, like, like when I passed the elementary school stage, right, dunks, like, it would be like the one Nike I could get from Shoe Warehouse, you feel me? I could go there and be like, oh, I could get a dunk and it's a Nike. It's not no Payless shoe, it's not no Van, it's not no Convert, it's some Nike. I get it from fucking Shoe Warehouse real quick. But now, like, these kids are paying retail price for some dunks and i'm like that's a trip to me you know it's like it's crazy how that shit comes back and then they go around and sell it for like three or four hundred dollars i'm like you're wild and not right now bro uh, yeah you could never used to do that shit ain't no bro because it was so popping that shoes were always up. like i go to the store now you can't even find i'm looking at the camera right here on the fucking computer like a <laughs> dumbass <laughs> you good you good fucking uh now bro you can't even find a pair of black air force ones you know how hard it is to find them I had to go to like seven different stores, two different malls. Let them know. Feel me? That used to be my favorite shoe. But, but they save it for the real ones. I was a wild and out for... I remember, um, I don't know if I wanted to smoke it, I'll tell you. I remember one day, I bought a fresh pair of uh, Air Force Ones. I was feeling like shit. I go and I, you know, I, I used to get drunk a lot after work when I was looking at the shop. So I go, I get drunk, I come home. The next morning, I was I blacked out at this point. I was fucking blacked out, drunk. I come home. And the next morning, I'm fucking. I'm looking for my shoes. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go out. I'm looking for my shoes. I'm like, Mom, where are my shoes? Where are my shoes? She's like, I don't know. She's like, You're fucking stupid. You remember what happened last night? I was like, No. She's like, Fucking. Uh, what she tell me? She's like, You're stumbling all over the floor. Like you can't even get your shit together. Like I, mean, I can't, like your brother tried to grab you. Started pushing him. I was like, Bro, I don't remember that at all. And I was like, what the fuck happened to my shoes? And then later on, I'm like, fool, the only thing I could think about is like, 
they fell off or something. And then the homie Ted used to get home like around six, and he I asked him, I was like, "Fool, Ted, did you see my shoes by any chance?" He was like, "Bro, nah, I did." He's like, "What they look like?" I was like, they, "They're black. Uh, they're like Air Force Ones, you know, Nike." He's like, "Oh, you know what, fool? You know what's crazy?" He's like, well, "On my way to work this morning, because he's going like, uh, uh, you know, he's a gardener, so you know how early those fools go go in and shit. They be like six, five, six in the morning." I did do that. He's like, "Bro, this morning." I did go outside and by the gate door, because uh, we used to have a door that used to go into the alley. He's like, right there by the alley door. He, I did see some black shoes, bro. He's like, but I didn't think of it. Like, oh, maybe they're the homie uh, fucking Dre shoes. I was like, fuck. Going back to that 2000 shit, though, bro. So, like, you know, like, all right, we're going to give Soldier Boy his credit and shit. Yeah, I did. Hold on, let me get this. Yeah, yeah. All right, when I, like, most people who didn't grow up during that age, because of social media and internet, they think Soulja Boy was the one who was running that shit. I'm not gonna lie, he, he did. That, he, yeah. he did have buzz, right? Because he did start that whole thing where it's like internet and posting. You know, he started that to become viral. But like these youngsters, they think that he was really the 2000s. So, who do you personally think? Like from the 2000s era of hip hop, who were like the main people for you? Or just 2000s, not 2010s. Uh, come in there for sure. Okay. Fucking um, what well, cool else, y'all? I used to have a fucking mixtape. Remember LimeWire, bro? I used to have a mixtape. See LimeWire. <laughs> That's why us, if all these kids nowadays think Soldier Boy because of LimeWire, because yeah. he was on the internet first. Fucking. Uh, a millionaire. If I said, listen to the fucking young jock. Okay. Um. See. That should be on. Nelly. Nelly. Okay, that's a good one. Fucking who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Damn, I'm fucking. Frank See, Mark. like for me, the people I think were the most influential of the 2000s, the Y2K, as these kids called it. Like, like, I would say the game. The game. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I didn't, I don't know why I didn't say those. Yeah. Jay Z. Eminem and Lil Wayne, and why I say or G Unit as a whole? Why did I leave all of LA out, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. You feel me? <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like G Unit, Fifty Cent, The Game, you know, Young Bug, Lil Wayne, uh, Royce the Five Nine. I think he was a G Unit. Like D Twelve, yeah, yeah D Twelve. Like, I wasn't buying no Soldier Boy shirt. Like at that age, I was buying a G Unit shirt. Yeah. I used to rock the fucking Fat Farm, Fat Farm, oh, bro. K Swiss, Rock Aware, Swiss. you feel me? Rock Aware, oh, that shit. shit. You know, like I used to. Hey, I don't give a fuck who laughs at this, but you know what? I used to own a pair of Am Ones. You know what I mean, I wore them like they were Jordans. Am One used to be fire back yeah. in the day. Hey, funny story. My brother, he used to have an Am One jersey and shorts. <laughs> like he had a few of them. All throughout elementary school, I used to wear the whole set. He used to wear the whole set every day to elementary school. The jersey, the shorts, the shoes. Like during the two thousands, like that was his fit. And like during that time, like that that was like that was the shit. You know, like if you had a whole Jordan fit, a whole Nike fit with the shoes, like that was the shit. But even the and one fit, like that was the shit back in the day. Your Nike. So yeah, that, that's who I think were the most influential. Yeah, I think you're right, bro. Because honestly, yeah. Lil Wayne at that era, bro, who didn't know Lil Wayne back then, bro? Bro, for know. real. And, and you know what? Lucky Lil Kanye had his fucking good time back. I, 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 I put Kanye too. College dropout. Yeah. You know, they they I, came I, out. A lot of people are going to disagree with what I'm about to say, but I do not like the new Kanye. Mm -mm. I don't care. I know he has a song where it's like, I miss the old Kanye. I like the old Kanye, not the new yeah, uh, uh, The Life of Pablo. Yeah. I, I like that. I, I like them up to that point. That's like as far as I went. But after that, I'm like, that's what's hard to turn around. He got that, uh, what do they call it? The Kardashian curse on his ass. Yeah, for real. Because, bro, look at all the people she dated. Reggie Bush got his Heisman taken away. For real. Fucking uh, Blake Griffin. Ray J. Ray J. Yeah, of course. Ray J made her happy. <laughs> famous. Not for real. Ray J made her famous. Look you mean. And I ain't gonna lie, I'll be my meat to that video. Oh, nah, yeah. 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 oh man. Oh man. <laughs> no, hey, but with um with Kanye, college dropout, his first album. I remember like the first time I heard it. So my pops, 
and my mom, like, before we had the Tahoe, we had an 05 Tahoe, and that was, like, our our family car. It ended up getting, like, raised. We had rims. We had tires on it. But when, first, when they first got it, we were at my grandparents' house. It was late as fuck. Late. And this, my grandma's house was popping. We had all my family there. It was late. I remember they had just got the car. They came pick us up. My pops picked us up. Me and Kimo, Kimo was still a baby. I was a little bit, I'm a little bit older than baby. We were in the Tahoe. And I remember my dad had, had the album, College Dropout. And he was bumping it in the new Tahoe as we're taking a cruise. And I remember from the top to the bottom, we just listened to that album, just cruising around the hot. And I was like, man, like, this, this album is tough as a kid. Like, I could have been no older than six at the time because I was still in kindergarten, I think. But... That's what I remember from the 2000s, like. So I have you remember Kanye? I remember that. So all right, let me ask you something. Out of all the people, like, like all the older rappers, like um, from like NWA, like uh, fucking uh, Dr. Trey, you know how they all stop rapping for a cool ass minute. All the like all the rappers that did that shit. Yeah. Who do you think did it the best? Because the 90s or 2000s? From the 90s. 90s? Or yeah, I had that co- the, the best comeback. Because Lucky when... Uh, oh, comeback. Comeback. Because look, when, uh, when, Shady, when that Compton album came out, bumped it every day. But then, oh, uh, Dr. Dre, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the gang came out with... Uh, with he came out with two albums in one minute. It was like the uh, documentary. The documentary. That shit was hard, bro. I, I bought that shit on my iPhone. I still have it to that's, that's the one that has, like, Chapo. All of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That album, I was working at Rouse. My first job ever, Rouse. I was working at Rouse. I was bumping that shit. I was pushing carts and shit. Yeah, I hope bro. It was like um, there he had a he had his kids come out on that one too. Dude, for a comeback, I would probably say game, but uh, I don't know if you consider this. How about like uh, the album with Eminem where he came out with Rap God? Cause I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that be considered a comeback? Cause like I'm not gonna lie, like, well, I, I was bumping that. What I don't like is like how people disrespect Eminem like he wasn't doing shit. Like, I, I don't know how, I, if you've seen, there was this interview i seen, I don't know who it was, I don't, I don't remember the people, all I remember is the disrespect they said, they asked him, like, do you think Eminem, or, uh, Eminem was, like, one uh, one of the greatest in rap, or something like that, and he was like, how can, you can't be, sub, you can't be great at something that your your people didn't start, or that you're, like, well, race has nothing to do with this, you feel me, like, you got good bars, people fuck with you, good flow, and you, you're good at it, my boy. If you're good at it, you're good at it. Why the fuck does color have to come in with it? Like, bro, there's people who are who fucking who are are, are, are fucking singing different ver- or versions of every fucking song every day, bro. And you're gonna hate on them and say they're not good. They're good. They're good, bro. They're good. Hey. The 2000s. This is when we were in middle school, high school age. You know, running wild, getting into trouble. The 2010s, dog. Um, well, that's the time we grew up. That's that tightest shit. That's that. T- that's why <laughs> yeah. We were shuffling. Well, I remember. I remember re- fucking um. I remember fucking uh, f- uh yeah. shuffling crews were acting like fucking gangs and shit, bro. Like the fools were, were, were trying to bang on everybody. Like bro, what the fuck? At parties. But they would shuffle. They wouldn't get down, bro. Like. They would start dancing. Yeah, like that's wild. That's like some shit off a of fucking oh, stop the yard. 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 Like, 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 and shit, well, not my hub, but from where I live at, you know? Because I don't want shit to get twisted over there, you know? Fucking people out here twisting up words. And uh, I would kick it with them, bro, but I would kick it with the shuffler sometimes, from time to time, too. That's how I started smoking weed a lot. The those was always smoked a lot of weed, bro. Bro. Bro, I remember the first time one of the homie shuff, uh, shufflers, his name was Kool-Aid. They called that for Kool-Aid. That fool, bro, um, he, uh, he's like, hey, fuck, I'll get your edible for $10. I was like, right, for sure. He gave me the Rice crispy edible. I remember I split that shit in half with the homie. I was in fucking homeroom just like falling asleep. I was looking at the clock like all fading and shit. I'm like, bro. I remember the exact time it hit. Because I was like, you know that moment right when the edible hits? You're like, oh shit. It's kicking in. Yeah. Bro, that's what I felt. And I was like, fuck. I was blown. And I, I, I used to like going to that class. Until that fool fucking ratted me out. Fuck, I, used to, I used to sell chips, bro. I used to have a duffel bag. And um, I, had that shit, I had that shit filled with like, honey buns, chips, chips. Fucking all kinds of shit, bro. Tiki punches. I used to buy the RP the homie. I used to buy fucking shastas and sell them. And 
one day I'm in my, I'm in a, a homeroom, I'm just chilling and shit, bored. All of a sudden, random search. All right, we're gonna get take you guys a random roles. Of course, my role randomly gets picked. They pick up, they pick us and shit. And I only I had two backpacks, like I said, so I only took my regular backpack and I left the duffel bag on the floor. And when I'm outside getting searched, I'm not even tripping and shit. I, I, like, I, I did have like a nice little stack of money. It was like all dollars, you know. But uh, I had money in my shit. And they're searching me, and they're, they're like, oh, like that's all you have. I was like, yeah, that's all I have. That's all the money I have too. All right, what do you do? Well, my mom gave me this money. All right, cool. And literally right after I say that, fucking my teacher comes out with my duffel bag. He's like. Whose bag is this? Did somebody left it that? But it was in that row. It's someone's back from this row. And everybody, of course, everybody's like, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. And it's like, oh, that's just you. you. And I, I was like, fuck it, you know, yeah, it's mine, I guess, you know, it's my shit. They're like, all right. But, and at that time, they used to take your money and your chips. But the, yeah. I, I was cool with the counselor. Because him and my brother, my brother used to always speak with the football team from Narbon. And uh, him and my brother were cool as fuck. And he knew me, he used to get me right home from school. And he's like, he's like, come on, he's like, look, he called me, uh, he said, like, come on, Medina. He's like, don't be doing that shit. He's like, I'm going to take your chips. He's like, but I'm, you're lucky I'm going to take your money. I was like, but I had like 50 bucks and, and just straight bills. Straight dollar bills, bro, 50 bucks. Yeah. Bro, fucking middle school at that time, bro. I mean, in high school at that time. You're balling. Balling, bro. I was buying bitches shit. Oh, because like, I used to do that too. Like, I used to sell stand musubi. I used to sell, can- sell candy. I used to sell cool gum, everything at school. But the school will get mad at us for selling it. And it's like, and they will take your money and the shit you're selling. They basically rob your shit. They will rob your shit. I just thought about that. Bro, like, they're doing that to you. It's like, okay, you don't want us to be a a fucking hustler and, like, be an entrepreneur so you can take it. You want us to sell drugs? Like, what do you want us to do? You know, we're doing something good. We're selling food. And like this is your fucking bro. Their vending machines, their vending machines will be chops, bro. Bullshit. And the student stores taxing. But I used to sell a honey bun for a dollar because back then they were fifty cents. Yeah. Back then I used to get two bags of chips, other like nice regular bags, not the little guy, regular bags of hot Cheetos, two for, for a dollar. Give them, yeah. man. I used to come home. My mama was just like, "How the fuck you get all that money?" I'm a fucking businessman, mama. Spencer, and that was the same thing. So like, my parents used to trip on me. They're like, "Hey, how how come you get all this money?" What are you doing? Like, they, they would trip on me. They think I'm selling I was like, nah, like, I'm going to school. I'm selling Kool-Aid gummy bears. I'm selling. So you guys know the blow pops with the fucking gum inside? I used to get those. I would stretch out the Jolly Ranchers. If you guys know how to do it, you know how to do it. I'd put the Jolly Ranch, two flavored Jolly Ranchers around it, and I'll put a, a sour belt around that. I used to sell those. I used to make like a hundred of them. I, and then I would sell each one for two dollars, right? So that's two hundred dollars to me. And I, I would just sell that. I would sell spam all, all types of shit. And then like the school would be a bitch because I'm selling, I'm selling food, not no drug, nothing bad. Like they, they would just do it. You see a rob by your teachers. And I remember that day. I, later on, I was walking by the dean's office. I seen these motherfuckers. Um, they were eating my chips in the office. I was like, man, these fucking assholes, bro. They, they did me dirty. Man. Now, the, the 2010s, like, like I heard you said, the swagger. Yeah. Swagger, Tiger was popping. I remember uh, that he brought up some bitch named Hun- I used to have the biggest crush on this bitch, Honey Cocaine. Honey Cocaine? Oh, yeah, yeah that know. bitch was sexy. Yeah, she was, Cambodian, yeah, bro. I wanted to, man. Yeah, Honey Cocaine. Bro, but back then, it was like... It was all about snapcaps. Oh, snapbacks. Snapbacks. And you would, niggas would wear right here on their freaking, uh. On, on their, on their, uh. Is that they would wear it on their belt. So you would wear a snapback. You would put one on your belt. That's when the fools had the fucking plugs. Uh, I can't, I have my plugs too. See, I was never allowed to get plugs. I had regular piercing. I had to wait till I was 18. And my mama didn't even know. I came home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was the time. Hey, remember the fool used to wear the athletic basketball shoes? Fool. <laughs> Bro, get us to 100 followers and we'll fucking have a video of us beating up Jason. First. We already got 100. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, but it was about snapbacks, the plugs. Hey, see, look, look, look at this fool. He got the plug. Hey, he running away from the cat. Uh, he got it. Uh, He's still stuck in that 2010. This one is a, he is a, he is a swagger era. 
He is the star of era, dog. The skinny jeans. Oh, yeah, that's all liquor. Yeah, that was that time. Cheers. I haven't even put a chase in here because it's so fucking full up there. If you guys don't know about the Dre shot, you're about to find out. That was the time when graphic tees too were popping. <laughs> Everyone was coming up with brands during that time. Kunix with the Kunix. collar on over that shit. Yeah, yeah, the polo under. Yep. So that was like the swag era. Like, folks would be wearing the Kunix. A snapback, snapback on the uh, on your little like belt thing. You keep some buy a, fi- a, a five sack of bud back then, bro. For real. Now that's when it was like dimes. Yeah, and it was nicks, dimes, and yeah, dubs. Yeah, and if you had cool. money, you could you could get that eight. Oh, you yeah. get that eight. Yeah. But that was yeah, that was a good time back then. Nike Elite socks were popping. Well, yeah, everybody wore them. So let's, let's talk about that sound era, bro. It was a crazy ass era. Hey, let, let me ask. Like, I'll start. Like, so like a lot of the rappers are popping. Like, let's go back to Soldier Boy. Like, right? with the internet shit, that's why I feel people give me so much credit. But like, the main people I used to listen to on SoundCloud were like Suicide Boys, Ramirez, uh, all of Raider Clan, Xavier Wolf, Bones. Like, those are the people I used to listen to on SoundCloud. Like, so I would listen to... Who would I listen to? Lil B. Back before okay. that feeling weird. Okay. Lil I B. bet you my stomach is growling on the mic right now. I don't know why. I'm not even hungry. I think it's the alcohol and the food. But I don't throw up. I rather do this. And, um... So, yeah. It was a Raider Clan. Odd Future. Was Odd Future dirty? Yeah. Probably they were since middle school. Oh no, you're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I don't think they're really on that SoundCloud. Really. Uh, who else? Xavier Wolf, Denzel Washington. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Denzel Curry. That's it. Nah. He used to be Ray the Clown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought you said Steph Curry. I was like, shut the fuck up. No, I hate Steph Curry. <laughs> hey, Kimo was about to jump through the camera. Did you see that who fly? <laughs> Sorry, Steph Curry fans. I wish you guys the best, but fuck Steph Curry, homie. No, nah, but SoundCloud, bro, used to be popping, bro. Like, it was. If you didn't have a SoundCloud, I, 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 I don't think I still have it. I haven't I still got mine. I had, I I had a SoundCloud account. But um, I remember I had reopened it when I found out about Seiso. Seiso was like, hey, fool, bump me up. Uh, bump me on, uh, on SoundCloud, this and that. I'd be like, fuck, bro, for sure, you know, and I supported him. I mean, I, I went to his first, uh, his first show out here in the uh, Harbor City Park. Too late. Yeah. And we were still young ass cats. Nah. I mean, we're still young ass cats, I guess technically. Hey, I don't know if that was his first song, but like, Stomping Hard Part Two goes hard, but Stomping Hard Part One. That one's crazy. I, I remember too. that from Stomping and like that shit went hard, you know. Everybody like. That's just crazy. Like I remember, I remember people that didn't even like that area were listening to that shit. Cause that shit was Cause hard. Cause that shit was hard. And then <laughs> and the funniest part is like you might even like not even like the homie, but your little sister was bumping that for. No, yeah, cause that cool. Like that shit was hard. Like if you guys don't know, you guys should look that fool up because like. City Boy Say So. City Boy Say So, cause like. Well, let me check his actual YouTube name. I don't know what it is. He just Say So. It's say So, yeah. Say So, but like. One thing I will give credit to him for is like, you know, he has like real lyrics, right? And it goes. And he has those songs that are that have the melodies. You know, so like some th- some songs that like, I'd be tripping on is like um, off the top of my head I can think of is like that song clicking, right? Yeah. It has a dope ass melody where it's like you want to dance to it, but at the same time it's like deep ass lyrics. So the first time I listened to it, right, it's like, damn, like, this shit goes, like, I'm bobbing my head, you know, I want to dance to it, and then the second time I listen to it, I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm like, god damn, this shit digs deep. Yeah. So, like, it gives you the best of both worlds, you got the melody, and you got the lyrics. I'm glad that people are finally recognizing him, because low-key, I always, I always, like, me and him were like this, bro, like, we have so many, like, shit we could talk about, like, we go on and on about the shit we went through, but... We're like this, bro, and I remember, or we still are. And um, I would always tell him, like, say, so you need to, like, he would take me to the studio, and I would, he would, to this day, he hasn't released some of the shit that I heard. I'm like, I, I would beg him every day, say, so drop this song, say, so drop this song, say, so drop Bro, you have everybody turned up with this before. He's like, bro, 
I'm gonna make everybody wait for it. I'm gonna wake every, make everybody for it. This one could drop at, like five albums if you really wanted to from all the shit he has. Man. That man is a genius, bro. I'm gonna tell you, he's a he's a boy, he's, he's a natural rapper, and it just comes from like he'll spit a freestyle and shit, and, and he don't need auto tune because some of the songs a lot of people say it's auto, he don't need auto tune. He doesn't use auto tune. That's just his voice. He sounds dope as fuck. Uh, yeah, he don't need it, but like the song that you hear, like for me, like when I listen to it, like I don't know, like how you do, but like during the time where, like when I listen to his music, where the auto tune was, that's when the auto tune was popping. That's what you needed. You feel me? Like, you guys might say, like, oh, some people don't use autotune, but back in the day, like, all the people who you were listening to, Speaker Knockers, rest in peace, he was using autotune. Like, T Pain? T Pain, autotune. He invented autotune. For real. <laughs> like, Kondo Rondo, I feel like a bunch of fools still listen to that fool. I kind of talk about Kondo Rondo. No, like, nothing against him, but I'm just saying, like, if you want to talk shit about autotune, no. Nah. His song is autotune. Even even in the NBA uses all sometimes yeah. sometimes you feel me, but that SoundCloud era, bro, like man, like I feel like SoundCloud gets a lot of that rep though. It was a good time. It, it was, was a good, good era. Time, it was a good got, era. You got some bad artists from that time. Right? They, they just gave it a bad name. That's really what it was. Like I feel like Lil Punk gives it a bad name. I hate Lil Punk so much. <laughs> and then oh my Kid god, Kid Boo gives it a bad name. I don't know who that is. He was like some fucking uh, industry point. I don't know. I, I, I never heard of him. I, I'm bad at it. Lil Xan! Lil Xan was a Lil fucking Zan, piece of yeah. shit. I hate that fool. Spend stuff like that. I fucking hate Lil Xan. He's just like, I don't know. Anybody who glorifies Xanax, bro, I fucking hate them. For real. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna sit here and be a hypocrite. I did take my one point in time, but I lost so many people to that shit. And then when people were still glorifying it. Lil Pump made a cake out of fucking Xanax and shit. And. I don't know, to me, it's like, nah, fuck that shit. Nigga! Alright, Kimo, take the control. You didn't. Take the control. And, and keep it. Hold on. Come here, dog. You didn't. Oh, you didn't. So, shoot him. Do the gun line. <laughs> <laughs> you going on the gun line to get DP right here on camera. Yeah. Oh, he's getting executed. Oh, shit. He getting executed, dog. But yeah, we'll choose. So that's the last time, though, fool, because you didn't get us canceled before we even start. Yeah, man, but man, some brothers though, like those fools that made it bad, like they were not the greatest artists. I'm not gonna hate on their hustle, but people thought they were popping. But there were some good artists who came out of there, like Raider Clan. They inspired fucking ASAP Rocky, who's popular now. Like a lot of the new rappers. Hurt. That fool was hard. Fucking SG Lilla Man, he was hard. Like those are my favorite two from uh from there. You got X. Who people uh, love nowadays. I feel like he got more love after. Okay, one thing I notice a lot is people give more love to people yeah. after they die, and I hate that shit. Like, one thing that I love about NBA Youngboy, when Nipsey Hussle died, they asked the NBA, like, how do you feel about the, the death of Nipsey Hussle? He kept it real. He's like, he's like, he was like, he's like, I don't know the guy. He's like, my respect and condolences to his family, but I don't show fake, you know, I don't show fake love, respect and condolences to his family. He's like, you know, this is how it is, you know? And that's how it should be. Like, yeah, if you didn't listen to him before, why all of a sudden you want to listen to him now? That's right. But, like, there's, like, a thing from the graffiti community by the Black Book Line Book of uh, Batello. He, like, he has a sticker. It says, support me while I'm alive or support me before I die. I might have butchered it. But, you know, it, it's fact, bro. Like, it's like to the people who don't believe in us and what we're doing. And we, I mean, we love you guys, too. We don't, we don't hate haters. You know what you're saying, bro? Your job yeah. is to hate. It's only gonna make us stronger at the end of the day. Yeah, bro, for real. But that South Park era, man, like, I remember the concerts, bro. Like, it was like the size of this room. It's not that big. Yeah. I seen Suicide Boys live, Pooey live, Ramirez live. Shout out to Bear. You know, he's the one who introduced me to him. But, like, I seen all those fools live. <sighs> Bones, uh, Chris Travis, Xavier Wolf. Imagine an Xavier Wolf concert in a room this big, bro. That'd be crazy. You know, like I missed all that time, shit. Dog. Back then, I had strict Mexican parents, and you guys know what I'm talking about, you know. But if you don't, that shit, like I could never go out ever, especially because I was always like the bad seed in my family. I did dumb shit. I don't want to say that. I just did a lot of stupid shit, and that's why they would never let me out. It kind of protected me from a lot of shit I could have been. Yeah, I was outside. But I mean, I was outside. Like, I, mean, I, though, like, yeah. I was just outside. Man. My do a lot of lying and maneuvering to be outside, but I was outside. Like, 
I was at the concerts, I was be outside like, writing on walls and shit, like eating booty. Back to <laughs> But it was just that was the era I grew up in, the twenty tens, SoundCloud era. I, like I guess that's what you gotta call it, SoundCloud era. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 he has opened the door for him. Our future was my shit back in the day. You know, my nice. oh, No, I don't know about the now. Hey, so like, our future the West Coast Raider Clan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, my brother said it. Our future was the West Coast Raider Clan. So like, I was always a fan of the girl, Left brain. Open the door. Oh, it's pistol. Domo, like. Oh, Domo. Yeah, bro. Like, I was a big fan. Like, hey. Like, oh, all of them came know, together? What the fuck? Oh, oh the homie Chum. Oh, it's the homie Chum, right here? Oh, what's up, guy? What's up, bro? Cool, yeah, nice to meet you. What's up, my boy? It's my brother, Eric, right here. What's up, Perico? Wow. What's up, Perico? 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 We're not professional. I can't be one left. Hey, you guys remember my, my homie Felix? I was the last one that came in. We were supposed to do a spread challenge with his ass today, but he didn't pull up. Yeah, you guys want to show? You guys want. You, yeah. Don't be in the video. Hey, hey, we, we almost wrapping it up. We got a couple more topics to talk about, bro. Almost done. Almost done, bro. Action. So we can, so we can smoke. Roll up. You want me to roll up? Hey, you guys want to check the molly, man? That shit is trash, man. It's not that great. The hype? It's just... It's just a Oh, you don't like the Langmore. Hey, see, You want to try it, bro? Like, for me, like, the Langmore... Like, that's how I judge restaurants, bro, off the Langmore. I'm like, it's not that great. That's how I judge bitches off the Langmore. 